On Friday, U.S. President Barack Obama announced that his country's plan to withdraw 39,000 soldiers from Iraq by the end of the year. The United States military played a major role in 2003 invasion of Iraq and the subsequent war. In an interview with Majid Hamid of Al-Arabiya, U.S. Major General Jeffrey Bashnan spoke of the phase following the troops' withdrawal and the impact that would have on the Iraqi's political scene and its relation with the U.S. Right now we have about 41,000 troops uh, still in the country, but we're on track completely to withdraw all of those troops in accordance with our bilateral security agreement with Iraq uh, by the end of the year. We signed this agreement in, uh, in 2008. We've lived up to every one of our obligations, and we're going to honor our commitment both to the people of Iraq and the United States by following through on all of these obligations. So complete re redeployment of equipment, transition of bases, and uh, transfer of personnel out of Iraq by the end of the year. When asked about security concerns and if the United States plan to retain specialized anti-terror units in Iraq after the end of the year, General Bashnan said there is no agreement for any security forces to remain in Iraq at this point in time. He added that Iraqi specialized operation forces have developed a very capable capacity to deal with terrorists. As of October 12, 2011, at least 4,477 members of U.S. military had died in Iraq war since it began in March 2003, according to an association press count. Ikram Al-Arabiya.